Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mook tutorials. Uh, we are in production, getting pretty deep uh, into this topic, um, and it is a a serious topic so uh, there's really no way to do this without diving fairly deep um, so we were in costing so I'm gonna just run into that right away if I go into items I go into my standard ground coffee item I've set this up uh, to be standard cost or standard costing method uh, and the standard cost is 330 and I last video I went into the standard cost worksheet and I rolled up the cost and uh, it included scrap, so the ingredient was $3, uh, one for one. And then it's 10% scrap, which means that the cost of this item is $3.30. Um, so I'm actually going to show you a little bit of cool things here, and, and I'm going to add the capacity to the cost as well. So if I go into Navigate here, there's something called Cost Shares. This is pretty cool. If I click on this, uh, I can see the um, breakout or the shares of cost. So for this standard ground coffee, uh, uh, for one coming out of that, one pound in this case, one pound, I need 1.1 pound of coffee beans because of the scrap percentage. And uh, <clears throat> so we can see that the cost for scrap is 30 and it's got a uh, cost for uh, the pound of uh, coffee beans was uh, three. So we have the total cost 3.3. And that rolls up to here. So obviously, if we had more lines here, it would roll up more. But I just have one. So what I'm going to do now is add the capacity uh, cost because it, of course, the material costs us money, but the time of doing this is also a cost that should be factored in. So I'm going to go in here, uh, just close this out, uh, and I had not added a routing into this, but I do have a routing that we created in a previous video. It's called Grind Coffee. So if I actually go into, before I go into that, I want to edit it. Right. Uh, so this is the Grind Coffee. Uh, the setup time of actually setting, uh, getting this going is 10 minutes and the runtime is one minute. Um, I'm actually just going to say the setup time is zero, just to make this simple. Runtime is one minute for one pound. Uh, uh, let me just make this under development. So you can't change this until you put it under development. Setup time is zero. And then I change it back to certified. Uh, also, what I want to do is go into the work center here, and in the work center, I can set up a cost. So on the work set itself, I say, how much does this cost me per unit of time? And my unit of time is minute. So in this case, it cost me $1 a minute to run this. So $60 an hour. This is a really powerful machine. It grinds one pound in one minute. Um, so so it's, it's uh, fairly effective. But it's really, okay, $1. So I set that up here. I could, of course, put an indirect cost, overhead rate, and all of that. But I'm just going to not go into that yet. So I'll close this out. Uh, just hit OK. Out of this. And OK here. So now I've assigned the routing grind coffee in here. Now what happens if I go into my cost shares? If I go in there, I can see that grinding coffee has been added. And now my total cost here is 430 because I have 330 for the uh, material and then I have a dollar for the capacity. So that's already updated. Now if I uh, look at the uh, cart itself right now I can see that's still at 330 because even though I changed the underlying cost 
the actual finished good is not going to immediately change. You have to execute that change. And there's a reason for that. There might be open entries in the system that have this cost assigned to it. Um, so if you change the underlying parts, you have to do a formal roll-up with uh, a worksheet. And I'm going to just go ahead and show you how that would be. Go back into a standard cost worksheet. Um, and in here. And just note, uh, this is just something I was playing around with. I have a few lines. If you're wondering how to delete many lines at once, <laughs> like in older systems, you would just highlight everything and hit delete. But you can't do that on you know, the web in a cloud system. So what you have to do is actually go in here, select more, click the top part, and hit delete. And then it works. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a, a note on that. Um, anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and suggest uh, standard cost. Just find uh, the item. It's just, oops, not the beans, but uh, the coffee itself. Uh, just take that away. And here it comes. So we can see that it comes up with the old cost. And if I actually do roll up standard cost, uh, and do it again just for that. I'm just filtering so it doesn't take everything in the system. Uh, like that. Now I can see that the rolled up cost is 430, and then I just hit implement star cost changes, and that updates the cost to 430. So now you can see we actually added capacity cost to this, updated it through standard cost worksheet, and now. We're going to go into actually posting something in the next video where we see how this posts through the uh, accounting and all of that. So even deeper. Um, I hope we got everybody still on board. Uh, and thanks for watching. Got anything out of it? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't.